Welcome back to the Roadshow this morning in the buzz. Do you have casual Fridays at your office? Well, some workplaces these days. Uh, every no, it was, day is it was casual. Big. A yep. couple of years ago. Casual yeah. Friday. And then it started to go back to. That's because people were wearing t shirts with holes in them. Hey, listen, I And, didn't, and I, pajama I, pants. I didn't say what? I just said. That's, <laughs> that well, even some high ranking physicians have gone to uh, casual Fridays. Power jeans yeah. are increasingly common in high ranking business and political circuit, cir circles. Do you have uh, power jeans? I think on? I think I, I think I always have power jeans. I don't think I've ever worn non power jeans mm. unless I wear a, I wore a suit like twice and it's jeans from there on in. Well, I tell you what, you're in because jeans are yeah. now a legitimate part of the global power dress lexicon. Take for example, President Obama, mm -hmm. Nicholas Sarkozy, yeah. Tony Blair, Dmitry Medvedev, Med Medvedev, Medvedev. We'll accept it. Medvedev. That's it. It's always it's you always got, tough with the Russian judges. Names. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Even Steve Jobs, yeah. all donning jeans for the whole world to see. Uh, there is, uh, I think that's uh, president, president, president Obama and Sarkozy. and Sarkozy. And then, is that Carla Bruni? Who can do no wrong in my eyes, <laughs> by the way, fashion-wise. Now, yeah. can, can I dispel this myth? Uh-oh. This is not new, folks. <laughs> what, jeans? No. This power look for older guys, especially, uh, Obama and the rest of them wearing a suit coat with jeans. Ten years ago. <laughs> Back when dinosaurs Problem roamed Problem the earth, right, I, Vince Dimitri. Right, but, different, but different then. Right. If you did it then, you were looked upon as really old because you were trying to be young mm. and it was frowned upon. So if you did it then, yeah. it was like, what is this guy trying to be some, you know, dress your age, man. Just don't wear jeans with a, with a sport coat. Vince. Now it's coming back and we're saying, ooh, we're in vogue again. <laughs> yeah. I, have, I have to ask this question. Yeah. yeah. Because I've, I've, I've always seen you at work. I've always seen right. bits at work. Yeah. Do, you, do you own jeans? I own plenty of jeans. Can, you, I want you to come in dressed as me one day. T-shirt, do it, please. I have, to, I have to ask the boss. Well, well, it's going to be hard to once. do because I do three hours of news Quick out there. change. Yeah. You can do that thing. Just, if, <laughs> if, you get, if you get it from the boss, I'll be happy to come. Okay, we're going to You see me in jeans. jeans. When I'm you right. saw me at uh, the first photo shoot that we had. Okay, that was, was, was right. You yeah. saw me in a T-shirt. Guy's yeah, got that's guns, right. like, the size of my head. <laughs> so, but you know what's interesting is uh, I actually saw someone wearing jeans to a wedding one time, and I just thought... Oh, how uh, yeah, terrible. That's that's how bad. terrible. And the other thing that's interesting is I just read an article in the New York Times about two days ago, and they were talking about it used to be you'd spend $300 for these designer jeans, and now mm -hmm. companies can't get that price yeah. anymore. It's starting to hit at 200 which is still really expensive, but they're not getting the, you know, the exorbitant amount for jeans that yeah. they once did. I think it's all about the situation because, you know, do you remember when the, uh, those, that, those girls wore flip-flops to the White House? Sure. I mean, to me, you know, we're, we're getting to a day and age where people would think, oh, I'm going to the White House, I'll throw on my favorite pair of jeans, right. yeah, and it's still not, right. not appropriate. I mean, you know, Carla Bruni, from the picture that we were seeing, she's walking on the beach, or there's a casual meeting, mm -hmm. you know, I think that's fine, but mm -hmm. jeans uh, all you the know time. What? I heard a story a day or two ago, mm -hmm. uh, this guy, uh, he was a Best Buy executive, got on a plane in first class. Yeah. And he was wearing a tracksuit, and they kicked him off the plane. Why? They kicked, they kicked him off the plane. He, he, they, they said that he was allowed to take the, the seat in first class, but then he was out because he was wearing a tracksuit. Uh, he used his points to upgrade to first class, and then once uh, he was at the gate, the attendant told him, it's too casual, sorry. Mm -hmm. What? I, unbelievable. How old is he? Uh, he was uh, probably, I would say, about 40. Uh, you're looking at it's him right amazing now. amazing the way oh, he's ready This is him? No, oh, is that him? That's him. And that's the outfit. Yeah, that's him, we're told. Yes, that's him. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Well, apparently, suit. the airline is saying that the gate agent thought the customer in the tracksuit was an airline employee, and they have no oh, policy, policy. Pre preventing, right. you they know, passengers. Up. Which is, I mean, there there used to be a time where you would dress up to get on an airplane. There used, used to be a lot of times where you dress up to go a lot of places. Yeah. Church for one. Well. He, I have, you know what? I'm glad you said that, Courtney. I'll bring you into this because Vince and I have had this. I can see it both ways. Back in the day, Go. we're talking about used yeah. to be dress yeah. codes in yeah. a lot of places. Absolutely. When you were growing up, yeah. oh, you wouldn't think of going to church in jeans. My mom wouldn't yeah. let me. That's my point. She would not <laughs> let me. You're absolutely right. But I, Courtney, I can see this two ways. Because number one, God doesn't care how you come as long as you're there. You know what I, I mean? I didn't say that. But on the, yeah. I'm not saying you did. Okay. <laughs> Where are you I just want to make this, this clear. You're, I'm talking I to feel, Courtney. I feel like you're Go trying to that. You got this blue. You're going delirious on me here. <laughs> anyway, Courtney, underneath that, uh, that uh, tech center... 
Do you have jeans on? <laughs> I wish there were flannel pajama bottoms, but they're not. <laughs> no, I'm, I don't think you can see, but I'm always wearing pants. I do wish I could wear jeans. They're my favorite article of clothing. But now that you guys can't see, I probably can. So we'll do that every day. Every day is Friday for me. But we're talking about jeans here on the live blog on foxprovidence.com. And Lisa says, I think jeans are appropriate at certain jobs and also depending what it is being worn with and how they're wearing them. And uh, Colleen, she works here in our sales department, and she says it's always casual Friday here in the sales department. And uh, Lisa agrees Friday is a good day for dress down days. I think, I think I'm going to take part in that. I'll start doing that keep you guys posted. Here's our poll on foxprovidence.com. When do you dress casually? Uh, a, whenever I go to work. B, just on the weekends or my days off. Or C, never. I like to be formal and dressed up. So you guys can weigh in there or hop on the live blog or on Facebook. Let us know when you're dressing casually. But I'll be back at the end of the show with your official poll results. For now, back to the kitchen where us. Uh